Both Type 09 and Type 95 are Chinese self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles. The Type 09 or PGZ-09 is a Chinese self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle manufactured by Norinco. It is armed with two 35mm cannons and optionally two fire and forget infrared homing missiles. It started to gradually replace the predecessor Type 95 in 2009. An emergency daylight optics is situated on top of the turret with a surveillance radar that is a Doppler radar located at the rear of the turret. The tracking radar is mounted in front of the turret with the digital fire control system above. In 1987, China imported the Orlikon GDF-002 with manufacturer licenses, which was designated as Type 90 Twin 35mm anti-aircraft gun systems in China. Type 90 is mainly designed to engage low-flying targets such as close air support aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles. Type 09 is the self-propelled version of Type 90. Type 09 utilizes a chassis similar to PLZ-05. It is equipped with a computer-controlled targeting system with laser range finder and thermal tracking site. A digital fire control system and auto loader is situated in the rear of the vehicle. The vehicle can choose from five types of ammunition before engagement, including high explosive incendiary with tracer variant, semi armor piercing high explosive incendiary with tracer variant, air burst, and target practice tracer. The turret has two separate loading mechanisms for each barrel. An emergency daylight optics is situated on top of the turret with a surveillance radar. That is a Doppler radar located at the rear of the turret roof which has a reported range of 20 km with identification friend or foe capability. Other standard equipment for Type 09 includes air conditioning for crew and computers, heating and ventilation and an NBC system that provides protection against the effects of nuclear, biological and chemical weapons. Type 09 also has an automatic fire detection and suppression system, data link and external communication system with other vehicles in the battalion.
The Type 95 or PGZ-95 is armed with four 25mm caliber cannons and optionally four fire and forget QW-2 infrared homing missiles. An improved model so-called PGZ-04A with lengthened chassis, better integration with the battery command, and longer range FN-6 infrared homing missile. Mounted on the front of the turret in an armored box is the electro-optical tracking equipment which consists of a TV tracking camera, an infrared tracking camera and a laser rangefinder. The tracking cameras have a day range of approximately 6,000 meters and a night range of 5,000 meters. The laser rangefinder has a range of between 500 and 5,500 meters with an accuracy of 5 meters. Mounted on either side of the turret are two 25mm Type 8725 by 183 mmb gas-operated cannons. Mounted on either side of the turret are two 25mm Type 8725 by 183mm B gas-operated cannons. It shares the same ammunition with the ZPT-90 autocannon mounted on the infantry fighting vehicle variant of the WZ-551 and the cartridge itself is a bored-out and longer case derivative of the 2A14 type of 23 by 152 mm B cartridge. Each cannon has a rate of fire of 600 to 800 rounds per minute, eject spent shell casings to either side of the vehicle. About 1,000 rounds are carried. The cannons are used to engage targets out to a range of 2,500 meters and at altitudes of up to 4,000 meters. Additionally, two QW-2 infrared homing missiles can be mounted above the cannons on each side. The QW-2 missiles are based on a shoulder-launched missile and can engage targets flying between 10 and 3,500 meters in altitude at a slant range of between 500 and 6,000 meters. To the rear of the turret is the CLC-1S band pulse Doppler search radar which has a reported range of 11 kilometers, and is optimized to detect low-flying targets. Finally, an array of four electrically fired smoke grenades are mounted on either side of the turret, aimed to fire forward and to either side of the vehicle. The system can automatically optically track targets and provide the gunner with an alert when the target is within range. The gunner can also manually aim the guns, using either the optical system or an external backup ring sight provided on the outside of the turret. The system has a reaction time of around 10 seconds when in radar search mode, and 6 seconds in optical mode. However, upgraded version of both Type 09 and 95 has auto-aiming capability with computer real-time projection assistances. A battery control vehicle using the same chassis is also built. It has a crew of 5 people. It uses AS-band CLC-2 surveillance radar with a maximum range of 45 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 4,500 meters. The communication system in the vehicle allows it to communicate digitally to a range of up to 5 kilometers and via a normal radio link up to 15 kilometers. Additionally, it can use signal wire to communicate up to 500 meters. An auxiliary power unit provides power for the electronics. A single 12.7 mm heavy machine gun is provided for self-defense. The SA-2 anti-aircraft vehicle uses a naval turret mounted at the rear of the truck chassis armed with an PJ-2676 mm naval gun system. This new vehicle uses the same PJ-26 Type 76 mm naval gun used by warships of China, which can fire 120 shells per minute and has a maximum range of 10 km. The 76mm gun is electrically controlled for elevation and traversing, and is stabilized in elevation. The SA-2 also includes an automatic loading system, electro-optical surveillance and tracking panoramic sight for detection, recognition and identification of targets. The turret can traverse through 360 degrees and the elevation is from minus 10 degrees to plus 75 degrees. The crew cabin is at the front with a power generator at the rear. In firing position, two hydraulic jacks are lowered to the ground on each side of the vehicle to provide a more stable firing platform. It uses a multifunctional land-based mount designed around the unrivaled 76 Super Rapid Naval Gun to create a unit capable of CRAM counter-rocket artillery mortar roll short for CRAM, as well as air defense and ground combat for different conditions. The SWS-2 is a new wheeled anti-aircraft guns independently developed by China are equipped with advanced radar and fire control systems, which cooperates as an independent combat unit. It can be called a king of anti-aircraft artillery. As a revolver-style anti-aircraft gun, 
The wheeled 35mm anti-aircraft gun has strong maneuverability and the advantages of accompanying mechanized troops in air defense operations. It is definitely an effective air defense weapon of the medium-sized combat brigade. We put the three tasks that are target search, tracking and firing in one vehicle. We can be firing, searching, and tracking at the same time in the course of moving. It is more suitable for a combat field with need of air defense. Different from towing, the dual-barrel design of the vehicle-mounted 35mm anti-aircraft gun is a single-barreled gun in the center of the wheeled anti-aircraft gun. But it does not mean that combat effectiveness is reduced, because of its use of a brand new revolving automation. This doubles the rate of fire of the single tube, and the firepower density is no less than that of the double-tube anti-aircraft gun. The structure of the rolling is somewhat similar to a revolver. This way of supplying shells can effectively improve the accuracy and reliability of strikes. However, the revolving automaton has high requirements for the accuracy of the positioning of the cartridge, the material of the barrel, and the scattering design. A country without strong industrial technology may not be able to build. After the continuous upgrade and research and development, the 35mm anti-aircraft gun still occupies an unshakable position as the last air defense line.